Hey everyone, it's Steve here again, this time doing something a little bit different. Recently, Metal Gear Solid 4 received a patch which gave it trophies for the first time since it was released four years ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entire game and show you how to get those trophies. So here we go, Metal Gear Solid 4 Trophy Roundup Part 1. This is the first trophy that you can get in the game, and subsequently, it's extremely easy to do. In about the third or fourth area, you will come across these statues. And all you need to do is get up on the platform next to them, and then press and hold triangle. You might need to do it a couple of times before it registers, but it's as simple as that. This trophy is another easy one, and might actually be the only time in the game that you end up using the Mark II. For this, you need to equip the Mark II from the Items menu, not the Weapons menu. Equip it from Items and then just roll up to any enemy. Hold L1 as if you were aiming, and then just tap R1 to shock them. And that'll be enough for this trophy. Arguably one of the more fun trophies to achieve, even if a little bit short-lived. For this one, equip the drum can, press X to push yourself over in it, and then just roll over an enemy. Couldn't be simpler. A staple in the series since Metal Gear Solid 2, the holdup has been a great way to get extra items and ammunition. Although it can cause you to come unstuck during a no alert playthrough. For this one, you need to sneak up behind your enemy without them seeing you, and then when you're close enough, draw your weapon on them. Once they've adopted the surrender pose, you can then lower your weapon and then go up to them and press triangle. This will initiate the body search which is the final part for this trophy. Imaginary bonus points as well if you do a body search to a frog and get a compliment off of them. <laughs> Hold on. You're pretty good at that. For this trophy, you need to kill about 30 or 40 enemy soldiers. And the best place I found to do this is in Act 1, in the area just before you meet up with Meryl. If you cause an alert phase, and then crouch down to the right of a couple of buildings, the enemies will respawn and keep coming around this corner for you to shoot. As soon as you see this message come up on the screen, you've killed enough enemy soldiers and you've got the trophy. Snake will then of course throw up. You get this trophy in Act 2, and honestly, it's a little bit difficult to miss this crop circle because it's on the pathway you need to take anyway to continue the game. But in any case, this is how you get there. As soon as you come across Naomi's handkerchief, just follow the pathway around straight in front of you, and you will eventually come towards it. There is a PMC soldier off to the right though, around here, so do be careful. Especially if you're going for a no alert playthrough. And here's the crop circle, along with a very nice Metal Gear Solid 2 reference. Something happened last Thursday when I was driving home. 
I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. This trophy requires a bit of work to get, and it will take at least one playthrough. To get this trophy, you need to get the solder gun. To get the solder gun, you need to pick up five dolls that can be found throughout the game. There is one doll in every act, but you can only get these dolls by fulfilling certain requirements. In Act 1, you need to escape the frog ambush with Meryl without killing any of the frogs yourself. After you do this, you will find the doll just slightly to the left of where you are once you get control back. You also get individual trophies for all of these, by the way. In Act 2, after defeating Laughing Octopus non-lethally, you will find the doll on one of the beds in the current Snake, building that you're in. Shed her suit. Who knows what she'll throw at you next? Watch out! In Act 3, once you've beaten Raging Raven non-lethally, can you see a pattern forming here? You will find the doll on the very top floor, Snake. just to the right She's as you come, come out of the doorway. Suit. Watch out! She's gonna try to grab you! In Act 4, once you've taken care of Crying Wolf, you will find the doll against the wall just off to your right. Just try not to get grabbed like I did. God, that was embarrassing. Forgive me. And finally, after beating Screaming Mantis in Act 5, you will find the doll in the pathway you used to come into this room. It's pretty much right behind her. Once you've picked up all five of these dogs, you will get given the solar gun at the very end of the game, right after you get told your rank. There we go. Much like the solar gun trophy, you get these two at the very end of the game by fulfilling certain requirements. 
To get the bandana, you have to go through the game without killing anyone. And to get the stealth camo, you have to go through the game without any alerts. That's pretty much it. Now this is an interesting trophy. To get this one, on any boss fight, once they're in their beauty stage, you need to avoid them for around three minutes. Eventually, you will be taken into this white room where it's just you and the beauty, and you can run around. Once here, you need to select the iPod, and then use the right analog stick as the click wheel, and then select music, and then scroll down to songs. You then need to scroll down to this song, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Select it, and then enjoy the show! This is an easy trophy to miss, mainly because you need to go out of your way to find the things that you're looking for, for this trophy. The things in question are four posters of the Japanese model Akina Minami. Two of which can be found in Act 2, and the other two in Act 3. The two in Act 2 are in the exact same building, they're in the mansion. The first one on the ground floor behind this painting, and the second one upstairs in the bedroom. Now, I don't think you need to keep moving the view around until Snake says, Akina! But it's probably best that you do, just in case. I sure as hell don't want to get you guys back here in a couple of days bitching at me for giving you false information. The two posters in Act 3, however, are a bit more spread out. The first one you'll find, as soon as you come to the park, turn right and follow it round for a little bit. The poster is going to be down a side alley on the right hand side. The second poster in Act 3 is a little bit harder to find, mainly because you have no reason to come into this part of the map during regular play. The easiest way to guide you is to just tell you to get to this part on the map that you can see right now. If it helps, it's Midtown Central Sector. Once you get into the right place, you'll see a black van and the fourth and final Akina poster is just to the left of it.
For this trophy, you need to have at least 10 face camos. Fortunately, after one playthrough of the game, you should have at least four. And if you manage to defeat the beauties non-lethally, you will have eight. To get the other two, you need to control the Mark II during any mission briefing, pressing square, and then triangle to get it onto the bigger screen, and then just run around and run him into people. You get one face camo for running into Otacon, you get one for running into Sunny, you get a third for running into Colonel Campbell during the Act 1 briefing, yeah. and the fourth one for running into Naomi during the Act 3 briefing. Right after it all Once you've happens, done this, you'll get the trophy before the next act. This trophy is simple enough. From Act 2 onwards, you'll be able to buy an emotion magazine from Drebin. Do so, and plant it on the ground in the pathway of an enemy patrol. That's all you need to do. Huh? Another simple one, but you can only do this from the second playthrough onwards. Mainly because you need the dolls that you get from Screaming Mantis at the end of Act 5. You need to use the Mantis doll though, because the Sorrow doll does not work for this purpose. Just point at an enemy, fire, and then do exactly as it says on the screen. This trophy is easy in theory, but it still might frustrate you a little bit. For this, during Act 4 in Shadow Moses, just change the view around so that it's looking down on you from above. Uh, You'll know you've hit the money spot when just Snake like comments on it. Now, you're talking. now I made it look fairly easy That's there, like but for you, you might need to move it around a little bit more than that. Just warning you. Definitely the most interesting trophy in the entire game. For this, during the final fight with Ocelot, wait until the third stage, when this song is playing, let Ocelot grab you, and when he gets you in a chokehold, do nothing. Don't press anything, don't try and get out of it. Just let it take its course. Bet you weren't expecting that. And that's it for this part. In part 2, I'll be talking emblems and give you a guide on how to do your playthroughs. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.